Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 29th day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover today is max consecutive ones 3. So the input given here is an integer array nums which consists of only ones and zeros and an integer variable k and we have to return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array if we flip at most k zeros. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example. We have to find the longest consecutive ones by flipping two zeros at max. So now considering the first three ones along with that we have two more zeros. If we flip these two zeros then we are going to get the longest consecutive ones as five. So again there is another set of ones four ones and we can flip two zeros. So let us flip one more zero before this one and after this one. So overall it is going to give us the length of six and that is the longest in the given integer array and we are going to return that as their output. So how are we going to approach this? So this is pretty intuitive problem where we can change the question or reformat the question in this way that we have to find the longest consecutive one subarray in the given integer array. And the trickier part here is flipping k number of zeros to 1. As this problem states us to find the longest subarray with consecutive ones, we are going to approach this in a very similar way we have approached the longest contiguous subarray with a sliding window technique. But here we are going to check every time whether we crossed k number of zeros to keep track of the window size. So let's go for a very quick dry run before getting into the code. So as usual, a sliding window is going to have two pointers and the first pointer I here is going to point at the beginning of the subarray and the other pointer J is going to scan the subarray and fix the window size. So we are going to fix the window size based on the number of zeros we can flip. So we are going to maintain a variable zero count that maintains the number of zeros present in that particular window size and if this zero count exceeds k then we are going to adjust the window size based on it. And also we are going to have another variable result which stores the longest subsequent so far and finally we are going to return that as our output. So let's start by iterating our ones. The first way pointer i is going to start from the array and j is going to move to the next element. So here there is consecutive ones. So we are going to iterate j till it scans and move to find a zero. So because we can have any number of ones in our array to calculate the maximum size. So as the next element is also one, we are going to move it to the next element to scan, which is zero. So now we are going to increment our variable zero count in order to keep track of the number of zeros we have come across in that particular window. So now the zero here is one. So let's move to scan the next element. So now j comes here again it is a zero now our zero count updates to two. So this can be the maximum window size we can come from the very first element of the array as we can have only maximum of two zeros in the array that is we can flip them to ones. So till now what is the size here is five including the two zeros we are updating our result with five because we found one consecutive array after flipping two zeros. So right now our result is 5 which means we have 5 consecutive ones after flipping two zeros as well. Now it's time to move either the j pointer or i pointer. So how do we decide? We can move the j pointer to extend the window size only if the next elements are 1. Because we can have only maximum of two zeros and we have already crossed them by having the counter zero count. So if we have one more zero by extending j, then in that case, we cannot have that window size fixed. So now we move our j to here to the next element in the array, but we have three zeros right now. So our zero count has been updated to three as we have three zeros right now in this window, but we cannot have three zeros. We have to reduce it to two or less than two. So we are going to move our pointer i until we get either two zeros or less than two zeros. So as we scan the next elements to i, it is going to be one, one, and now there comes a zero. But if we keep i here, again, it is going to be three zeros. So we are going to iterate it till the next zero and keep it here so that we have only two zeros in our window size. And now our zero count is going to be updated to two. 
And now we move our j to the next one. We have the longest sequence as 3. As we have already 5 here, we don't really have to update it with 3. That is the lesser value. So it's time to move j to the next one. Again, it is going to be size 4. So again, we are going to increase it to j to the next element, which gives us the size of 5, which is already there. So again, we are extending it to another j, which gives the size of 6. So this is a new longest consecutive length from i to j that forms with all ones also within two consecutive zero flips so now we are going to update our result to six which is the longest so far so again extending our j to the last element which is a zero then our zero count becomes three so we have to minimize it to two or less than two so it's time to move our pointer i to the next element and decrement one zero from it as we move our i here we are going to decrement one zero that has been moved to the previous window so now again our zero count is equal to two and the length between i and j is going to be six that is the maximum so far even if we reduce or move i up to the next elements the length is going to be shrinked so this is the maximum we are going to get out of it so that is going to be our output so hope you are understanding this basic sliding window technique this is going to work in big o of n time complexity as we are iterating the window only once so let's go to the code now so yes as i said we are going to have a zero count variable to count the number of zeros in window size and in variable i as one pointer and result equal to 0 which is what we are going to return now we are going to iterate our array to extend our window size with using j as a pointer so we are going to check whether the nums of j is equal to 0 then we are going to increment our zero count and we are going to check until our zero count is less than or equal to k we are going to move our i pointer and finally we are going to update our result variable with max value of result so far or the length between j minus i and finally we are going to return result as our output but in between we have to check one condition that is we have to reduce our zero count by moving our i pointer so if our nums of i is equal to zero then we are going to decrement the zero count and move our i pointer so that's it let's run and try so yes let's submit Yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 2 milliseconds. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.